Oh, this isn't good. Uh, this is not good. Not good at all. Is there a way to... I don't know if the Meg did that or if the storm did it. <laughs> oh, no. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Stranded Deep. I'm an old guy gaming. And uh, I am still actually on the player-made island that we were on in the last episode. Uh, just gathering up the rest of the resources. And I found a secret uh, area. And I figured, well, let's start the next episode and show everybody that secret area. Um, so, yeah, here we are. So, yeah, welcome, guys, to Stranded Deep. So what I was doing uh, was walking through here and I saw... Oh, look, there's three rock things. And then I look behind and I notice, ooh, there's a hidden room back here. So let's grab our pick and see what this is all about. All right. So there's a whole mess of clay in here. An antidote. A lashing, a refined spear. And... Yeah, looks like that's it, but still pretty good loot, man. Especially for clay. Goodness. All right, cool. So, yeah, I'm going to finish gathering up all the stuff and then head back to our island and uh, do some stuff around there, try and get some more potato plants planted. We're bringing back a whole mess of potato plants so that we can make a whole mess of fuel. And then when we're ready to set out again, I'll bring you guys back and we will go from there. See you in a bit. Okay, this is unusual. The Meg. I think we just found our first boss. Okay, here. Okay, so it's got the yellow thing. And there's a big shark eating it. Okay, so, um, let's see if we can turn around and get closer. Yeah, I was just going back home, heading east, basically, and I stumbled across this thing. We had nice, calm weather. All the way till we got to the boss, and then the storm starts. Maybe that's scripted. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Raft. Turn around. So maybe the bosses aren't on islands. Maybe they are just POIs, points of interest out in the middle of the ocean. Uh, keep in mind, I've, I'm recording this episode back-to-back -back with the previous, so if you guys left comments about the bosses when I asked for it, um, I haven't seen them yet. So, if my raft decides to ever uh, actually turn around, it's going to have to go... Okay, here we go. Okay, lower that. Hold E to drop. Okay, get out of here. Get back into first person. Apply, back, resume. Get these out. Okay, yeah, we found him. Um, he's down there. Uh, I can't really see him, though, with this damn storm. So let's just kind of chillax here for a minute. I got a whole thing of spears in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Am I supposed to, like, get in the water to fight this guy? I mean, we don't even have full health. <laughs> can't be good. That can't be good. Well, um, I'm just going to kind of stand here and wait for the storm to subside, first of all, because I can't see down in the water at all. 
and then uh, we'll go from there. So I'll keep the camera rolling in case he jumps out of the water and tries to eat me or something. Oh, this isn't good. Uh, this is not good. Not good at all. Is there a way to... I don't know if the Meg did that or if the storm did it. <laughs> oh, no. Um, yeah, this is a problem. Not gonna lie. I think it's probably the boss that's doing this. Come on, Storm. Seriously? Oh, there he is. Uh, I can't see him good enough to get a, a really good shot off on him. I'd maybe jump on that dead whale, but the waves are going over the top of it. And that's just going to throw me in the water. I hope this isn't a scripted storm, because how in the hell are you supposed to see him otherwise? Okay, the storm has subsided. Now we just have to find this guy. I think that might be him there, but yeah. I guess it's the orange thing. There he is. Follow the orange thing. Okay, here we go. Oh, shit. Really? That's all the damage that did to him? Oh, no. This is going to take a long time. Holy shit. I don't think I have enough spears to do this. Okay, hey, where's the orange thing? There it is. Uh. Oh! Oh shit! How did. Uh. He's got a hold of me. I'm bleeding. Oh, I'm bleeding. Okay, yeah, 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 I know. Get up on here quick, 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 quick. Whew. Okay, I have bandages, but guess what? They're under the water. We got a good hit off on him there, though. Um, here. I know I'm bleeding, but we got to kill this guy before he kills us. Now, we might have enough spears to do this. Yeah, I think, I think we can do this as long as he doesn't knock us off again and... Um, you know, or I bleed out. We got him. Whew. Okay. Uh, objective completed. Reward. One trophy, one aircraft rudder part. Press return to continue. Awesome. Okay, we killed our first boss, you guys. Hey, where do you go? Bring back my spears. Can we jump on this? Ugh. Yeah, you can. Okay. Trophy crafting combination has been unlocked. Um, okay. Well, we need, <laughs> need to get a bandage. Uh, where the hell are those at? Everything's upside down. Let's, um, I think here. Yeah. Okay. Let's get a bandage. Let's get back up top because I don't know if we can use bandages in the water. Oh, Okay. Now, what do we do about this problem? <laughs> How are we doing? Oh, we're not actually in that bad of shape health-wise. Okay. Um, our sail is furled, so I guess the first thing we want to do is retrieve that. And is there any way I can, like, flip this thing over? Um, what we might actually have to do is swim it to the nearest island, and if a shark or something comes by we jump back up on it all right here let's get up here no oh, can we get up on this oh, here let's stay with our raft that's probably a good idea what do you guys think okay so that appears to be the nearest island so let's jump in and start paddling and hopefully we can do this without getting our legs bit off yeah, I don't know if that was the Meg that tipped us over or the storm. It's probably the Meg. What the hell's going... What? What? Hit it. Oh. Okay. That works. <laughs> Jeez. Alrighty then. 
Okay, so, um, where's this park that we supposedly got? It's not in my inventory. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. We want to get our... Uh, I want to get a compass out. We want to keep going east-ish. So, yeah, we're basically going to turn right and go. Or, no, turn left and go because that's left. I'm surprised the bosses don't damage the raft. You would think that that would be part of the mechanics. That did not seem to happen. All right, guys. Awesome. Our first boss fight. We killed the Meg. And it appears that I just go, you know, float around in the sea. There's a sh something chasing us there. Float around in the sea um, until I find those points of interest. Um, and that's fine because that's where the gyrocopter is actually going to really come in handy to spot it but you know we figure out where it is and but then we go to it on the raft okay well i'm gonna keep uh wor working my way back home and i will bring you guys back with an update at some point and we'll go from there oh my goodness this is a day for all kinds of surprises uh when it got dark i decided to stop off this island and save and i found this little shelter and look what we got here woolly that's funny, man. A smiling, hairy volleyball. <laughs> hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. You know what? I think we're going to actually take this right now. Um, Yeah, so that was funny. Drinkable coconuts. Other good stuff in there. So I obviously haven't been on this island yet. Because I would have found Wooly. Had I done that. And so, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a shelter. Spend the night. Uh, we'll take a look around in the morning, but I think this is just another vanilla island, and then uh, we'll proceed from there. Well, if you're curious what happens when you get to the end of the map, uh, this this is it. There's like just this weird invisible wall, and I can't go any further. Um, I didn't know I was this far east. Let's uh, look at this here. So, yeah, we're... Uh, oh, actually, are we more south? Kind of south-southeast. So I guess we need to... Now, we're definitely on the eastern wall. I just don't know how far uh, north versus south we are. I, I think we're further south than we are north. So I think I'm going to flip around and just kind of follow the wall along south because we know that the aircraft carriers in the southeast and once we spot that then we can get to our island because our island's within sight of that so yeah i think that's what we'll do um so i'm gonna have to hop out here and flip this around this direction there is a shark or something in the water too so i don't want to stay in the water too far too long Okay, and that should get us going south. And yeah, like I said, I'm just going to kind of follow the wall until we get far enough along. We might even spot Sentinel Island, which is our island, before we spot the aircraft carrier. So, okay, well, anyway, I'll see you guys back at the ranch. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we are back at the base, and I'm just finishing fully watering the last of our potato crop plots. Everything I have planted at present is potatoes. I don't have anything else planted. And I added another 10 plots up here. Um, just because of the terrain, I wasn't able to get them nice and straight. So I figured, what the hell, I'm just going to plop them down. And all of these uh, plots are also potatoes and are fully watered. Uh, so that should give us a really nice um, little collection of potatoes. I want to fill this jar all the way back up again. I added one more water still too uh, so we have a total of five so i can fill the jar because it takes five charges each time i use it 
And then uh, this jar we're gonna put back on the, the boat just so we have some water, um, or on the raft rather, uh, so we have some water on the raft. So let's make sure these are fully charged here, which they are, that's a beautiful thing. Put all, whoops, uh, put all these back. And that's got five servings. Okay, we'll put this on the raft. So it's, we have it for when we take off again. And then let's take a look at our potato, uh, or rather our, our fuel process. I got that started too, so that's probably full by now, I'm thinking. Uh, no, not quite yet. Okay. I just took, after I planted all the potatoes I had, I, I took the extras and just put them in here. In fact, we still have more too. We, we brought back so many potatoes. Um, so we should have lots of fuel by the time this is all said and done. So let's uh, get that completely filled up again. There we go. And then uh, let's stoke our fire. Going to have to go get some more wood for that. Thought about maybe actually making two fuel stills just to double our production. Uh, what does it take to make those again? Um, all of this stuff. So, I mean, yeah, we have that. Excuse me, we have that stuff in abundance. So, I guess what we could do is put a, set up another one over here. I kind of would like them to be together, but um, yeah, that's okay. We can do that. All right, let me gather all the stuff to set up a second still so we can uh, double up that fuel production. Okay, so we can put another fuel still here. Um, I think I want to turn it this way. And good. All right, let's take these. Oh, I guess we need to more get more sticks, damn it. Okay, well, let's get these potatoes loaded anyway. And you are full, so let's put another potato in here. Grab a jerry can out of here. Grab another jerry can. Oh, wait, did I just grab another jerry can? There we go. Uh, this one. Excellent. Okay, so that one's continuing on. I need to go get some um, some more sticks. Uh, no, I don't, actually. That's already full. Yeah, so let's get this fire lit. I do actually need to get, gather some more sticks, but um, we got two more potatoes here that we can at least get this one started. Oh, I already loaded it. Duh. <laughs> um, so we'll put these potatoes in here. Okay, cool. Uh, so we got that going. Uh, let's take the fuel that we currently have and go get the outboard uh, filled back up. Make sure the gyrocopter's full. And then, you know, the rest of it I just want to have as extra fuel to take with us when we go out and about. Um, so, okay, that's completely... Full, nice, and that has 25% fuel. Let's go check the gyro. It is pretty much full. And just take a little smidge of fuel there. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna cut the camera here and wait until I have, you know, at least one full jerry can of fuel, maybe even two. And when that happens, I'll bring you guys back, and then we're going to jump on the gyro, and we're going to start looking for um, the next boss that we need to go after. Uh, oh, we're going to go over to the aircraft carrier, too, and we're going to um, get that first plane rudder part uh, put on the plane, too. So I'll see you guys in just a bit. All right, guys, it is uh, the next morning, and I uh, just spent the night gathering some resources, doing some stuff. And we have a little bit of fuel in both of these now that we can grab. Uh, so let's grab jerry cans. And this one's 100% fuel. This one's 75. So let's fill this one all the way up. So that's 100. This one is 23.9. 
And that should give us... Uh, okay, hold on. This one's empty, so let's put this one back. Then we have two 100%, and then I think the other one was 73.9%. So that's definitely enough fuel for us to take with us. Excuse me. Okay, so if we go into our C menu, then we go to story mode. We've got this trophy option. Um, trophy has been stored in your backpack. Oh, okay. So how do we set it up? Can we put it on here? Trophy. Does it have to just be go on a wall? I don't I don't see a way to like attach it. What about like right here? Holding E clicking doesn't do anything. Okay. So what am I supposed to do with this then? Right mouse button to pin. Right. Okay. I don't remember. Oh, is there... Do we have to make a wall hook? Oh, yeah. I'll bet you that's what we have to do. Okay. So let's go... Let's go back into here. And uh, we're going to need some sticks. I got a little pile of sticks over here. Wood hook. All right. So we'll put that... Okay, why are you not attaching? What the hell? Oh, is it because... All right, hold on. Put that down. Make a wood hook. Hmm. I don't know why this is not attaching. Is it, uh, hmm. All right, well, let's put the wood in our inventory. Maybe that has something to do with it. Okay. Wood hook. It's attaching there. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, yeah, th I don't know. This is kind of weird. So I don't know how high this should be. Let's just put it right there. Now let's grab this. And hold E to attach. That's a little too high. Press E to pick up. Okay. So we want that to come down a little bit. I guess I can't pick that up now. So. We lost the stick. A wood hook. <clears throat> we had it up here. I think we should have it right here. Okay. Now grab the trophy. Hold E to attach. There we go. All right. The Meg. That's kind of small, though. <laughs> that shark was a lot bigger than that. But hey, whatever works, right? Whatever works. All right. Cool, man. So we got a, our trophy. We'll put the second boss trophy here and the third boss trophy. We'll have to figure out where that one will go. But uh, anyway, cool. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. Let me just double check and make sure um, all my crop plots are still... Uh, okay, so they did go down one thing of water. Um, so let's... Oh, but guess what's coming? Rain. Beautiful. Oh, the potato... Are they done? They're done! Awesome. Okay. I'm going to pick these now so we can get the next batch going. And then when I'm done with this, we are going to jump in the gyrocopter. Well, I'll, to I'll top the crop plots back off too with water um, or let the rain do it. If the rain, uh, I think the rain will do it. It should, but I'll double check and make sure that it does. And then we'll jump in the gyrocopter, head over to the aircraft carrier to get that first 
rudder part done, and then we'll go from there. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I took advantage of the rain to uh, fill up a bunch of water jars. Uh, so we have six full water jars because we need to stock up water on the aircraft carrier too. And as, as you can see, my crop plots are fully uh, watered up there. Uh, if you didn't know this, when it rains, these will fill with water without consuming the fronds down below. So always a good thing to, to fill up on those when you have a rainstorm at your base. Uh, okay, so let's see how we're doing. You're doing good. Let's load up a couple more potatoes. So these are going full bore for us while we're out and about and get a couple more things of firewood on the fire to keep those stoked and we're good to go let's uh let's go do a save really quick just to make sure i guess i got a save on the bed but whatever uh just to make sure we have a save in case something bad happens okay cool so i'm assuming when we get to the aircraft carrier the the quest part will just automatically apply or we have to apply it um so yeah and then i have like i said i've got almost three full things of fuel here so we should be good. All right, let's take off. This gyrocopter is so easy to control compared to like the one in seven days to die. I love it. Okay. Let's head on over here. So we've got the food stocked. Let's uh, stock the water. I don't know how many of these it's going to take. Oh. Only two? Okay. That works for me. That works for me. And then we got to do the rudder for the plane. So, oh, we have to fuel it too. That's right. Hmm, maybe we should do that while we're out here. And I'll just go back to the base. Oh, did the rudder just already automatically get attached? No, it, uh, wait. Repair plane engine propeller cockpit. Wait a second. All right, hold on. What the hell's going on here? Propeller engine cockpit. Oh, rudder pedal. Gotcha. Okay. So I guess we have to go into here and go to story mode. Grab this and this and hold E to fix. Awesome. Okay, cool. I love it. <laughs> okay, so we got our food and our water stocked. Um, let's go ahead and do this too. Um, we might as well, right? And the fuel's done. So all we have to do, guys, is kill the last two bosses, get the last two plane parts, and we will be able to escape the Pacific. It's going to be kind of sad when that time comes, but that's how the game ends. Okay. So, guys, I think that's it for this episode. What I'm going to do is go back to the base. I'm going to refuel on fuel, um, refill up on fuel, I should say. And, um, and when I st we start the next episode, we're going to take the, the copter out. Um, it uses fuel faster than the outboard motor does. Um, so I'm probably going to have more than two. I'll probably have three, maybe even four full things of jerry cans of gas with us. And then we're going to go searching for the, the last two bosses. Okay. And that will be the plan for the next episode. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.